So working for the bus company and a keen cyclist, it's good to get the perspective of all the road users when it comes to road space and sharing the road. Plymouth Cycling Contingent has grown over the last couple of years, which means it's a bigger focus on our agenda as a bus company. We're setting out plans to make it a safer place for all road users, making sure our drivers are trained in looking out for cyclists and making sure that the road is a safe place. This is the bottom of Royal Parade, Derry's Cross Roundabout. So I'm in the bus lane here, watching out for uneven surfaces. Traffic lights ahead, there's some big potholes, so I'm going to go in the middle of the road. And now I'm on Royal Parade, busiest bus junction in Plymouth. When it comes to driving with cyclists in the area, you've just got to give uh, a little bit more thought on what you're going to do. I'm going to have to pull out at some point to get around him, but at the moment I've got cars on the outside. So I've started to indicate, hoping somebody will let me out. Bus coming up on the outside, he wants to get past me. So he's using the car lane, perfectly legal. Um, there is a bit, as he comes behind the door, I'll lose him for a few seconds. So now I can't see him at all, but now he's appeared in the mirror. Still in the bus lane. Bus pulling back into the bus lane after overtaking me. Safe distance. Make sure I've got plenty of room. I think I'm clear. I'm definitely clear, so I'm moving in now. So making sure I keep my distance from the bus. And making sure I'm not undercutting him. It's easy now to go on the inside of him, but look, there's no room. So I'm just coming down Knott Street. Uh, there's a cyclist behind me and the lights are changing. Um, so I need to just be careful here and watch out for uh, people crossing the road. There's a box in front of me, which is a cycle keep clear zone and a small cycle lane to my left. Um, so I'm just stopping, making sure that's clear. Here's the cyclist in front of me. Um, he's quite rightly in front of me in the box, so I can see what he's doing. Um, that's what they're designed for. So I say, the lights are changing now. Um, he's pulled away. I'm just going to give him a couple of seconds. He's pretty much out of my way now. Um, I've given him room to do what he wants. He's there, he's safe. I've got plenty of room and off I go. So we're just going around Derry's Cross Roundabout at the moment. I'm heading towards Union Street, but uh, a few cyclists in front of me actually. There's, a, there's two there, so um, I need to be in the inside lane for bus stops. So absolutely no point me trying to overtake this cyclist now, because as everyone knows, there's a bus stop just around this roundabout, and if I'm on the outside of him and somebody puts their hand out, I'm never getting back in again. Not without either heavy braking or some kind of dangerous manoeuvre. Again, I, I could overtake the cyclist here, um, but there's, again, another bus stop ahead of me. Um, so the lights have gone red. I'm just going to sit back. For the sake of me gaining a couple of seconds, it's just not worth it. Lights have changed. Looking in the mirrors for any more cyclists coming. Not that I can see any. He's had quite a slow start, but I can see there's passengers waiting in the bus stop. So I'm just going to sit down here and take it steady. So I'm pulling in to this bus stop. The cyclist is away. Um, and now I've pulled in to pick up these passengers. It's the safest way to do it. Do not enter the advanced stop line box at traffic lights. This space is reserved for the safety of cyclists. Give space when overtaking. Leave at least a 1.5 meter gap when passing cyclists. When approaching traffic lights, hold back from overtaking cyclists. When approaching a bus stop, do not overtake cyclists as the stop may need to be served. Check all mirrors and blind spots when maneuvering to ensure the safety of cyclists, especially when turning left. Cyclists may ride in the middle of the lane to avoid gutters or potholes. Many of Plymouth's bus lanes are shared with cyclists. Cyclists are encouraged to hold back as buses have bigger blind spots compared to cars. Cyclists may make their presence known by making eye contact. Stopping distances will be increased and vision decreased in poor weather conditions.